Hey, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. An honor to be with you. I want to prophetically decree and declare it's start. It's time to start running to the battle. Stop running from the battle, my friends. You cannot retreat in this warrior, in this spiritual battle, this spiritual war as a Christian man or woman of God. You can't retreat. You can't turn back. You cannot look like Lot's wife. The Bible says she looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. Now, before I take you into 1 Samuel chapter 14, there was some radical, radical out of the box. They ran into the battle, towards the battle. But before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. The show's videos over six minutes or Bible studies where I revelate in a revelate. Is that a word? Where I expound in a revelatory fashion out of scripture you can check them out hit the like button in the comment section if you have specific prayer requests go for it it could be health relational financial father you're anointing radical warriors in this hour the anointing there's a special anointing reserved for us of the warriors of jesus christ god anoints them to do radical exploits because they'll say whatever it takes they're like John the Baptist. There's a forerunner mantle that says, I want to prepare ye the way for the coming of the Lord. Now, 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 6, Jonathan said to the young man who bore his armor, his armor bearer, come, let us go <clears throat> to the garrison of the uncircumcised. It may be the Lord will work for us, for nothing restrains the Lord from saving by many or by few god can save by many but when he does it by few he gets all the glory because there's no way a man or woman could have pulled this off it's like the gideon's army the remnant brother gideon starts out with thirty-two thousand. he ends with 300 the lord told gideon if you win with all this men and this artillery supplies artillery you know, all this manpower, then you're going to say you did it by the strength of your own hand, and it wasn't because of me, and I won't get the glory. It's not like God always has to have the glory because he's prideful and haughty, but let's put it, let's put it this way. God's in charge here. We're just soldiers. He's the commander in chief. Amen. Verse seven, his armor bearer said to his heart, do all that's in your heart. Verse 9, and they said to us, wait until we come to you. Then we will stand in our place and not go up to them. Jonathan said, this is Jonathan. This guy is radical, the armor bearer of David. But if they say to us, us, come up to us, then we will go up. For the Lord has delivered them into our hand, and this will be a sign to us. Then the men of the garrison called to Jonathan, his armor bearer, and said, Come up to us. We will show you something. Jonathan said to his armor bearer, Come up after me, for the Lord has delivered them into the hands of Israel. Jonathan climbed on his hands and knees with his armor bearer after them, and they fell. As they came after them, his armor bearer killed them. This first slaughter which Jonathan and his armor bearer made was twenty men within half an acre of the land. Friend, here's a perfect story of a radical, out-of-the-box Christian, Jonathan the armor bearer to David, prays a prayer and says, God, give us a sign. There's a battle taking place on a hill. If they say to us, we're going to come down to you, we're not going to wait for them. If they invite us into the battle, we're going to go up. I mean, it's crazy. Like, they ran into the battle, dude. They didn't stay and wait for the enemy to come to them. They went to plunder and pillage the enemy. And we're called in this hour to populate heaven and plunder hell. That is the mantle assignment of every Christian under the sound of my voice. It's always been about souls. It's the winning of souls. It's a radical edge that says... Man, I'm going to get outside the four walls of the church. I'm going to preach the gospel. God, you anoint me. You give me the words. You give me the power. You give me the demonstration. You're going to do exploits through me and for me. 
and friends, the Lord says, don't even, don't even contemplate what you're going to say when you're brought before people. The Lord, the Holy Spirit will speak through you by the grace of God. There will be grace for you in that moment. There's an unction to function. So the grace or the grace will now hit and you'll be used of the Lord. It's happened to me many times and I'm not boasting and bragging. I just try and be available. Now you can do this. Anyone can do this. Every believer is a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just say, God, anoint me and use me. I'm available. Let me pray for you. Father, I'm asking you to use people under the sound of my voice to run into the battle, to win souls, to disciple them. Use them mightily, Lord. Let the presence of Jesus and the Holy Spirit be upon people in the name of Jesus. And praise the Lord if you made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a cyber army via YouTube to disciple people. You may not hear some of these messages or some of this revelation in some of the pulpits, especially in this nation. I'm not being hard. I'm just saying that I'm just going to come on here because God's called me to do it. I did it years ago. I came off YouTube for four years. I'm back on the last few months. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed. Amen.